Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Arm Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing another one of these Loco drinks, which is the No Carbs Company, and this one is going to be on the Limon Del Sol, or basically lemon. So uh, I got this drink off of one of these, again, websites which sells American drinks, candy, uh, and stuff like that. So anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So I've got a simple can design here from Loco. It's a 330ml can, which is the same size as like the Coke can, for example, but this is obviously taller and narrower rather than uh, you know shorter or wider but yeah very simple can design it's literally mostly a light blue as you can see and then we got a couple of um yellow lines there and then yeah just a bit of you know a bit of writing and stuff so really kind of boring can in essence you know some of their other cans are a bit more interesting but this one is rather boring and on the back we just got the ingredients and stuff as you expect and the bottom is all standard and the top is all finished off in shiny silver, apart from the pouring, which is in a nice shiny blue. So taking a closer look at the drink. So 118 milligrams of caffeine per can, but it does say on the bag what it is per 100 mil, sugar-free and of course carbonated. So reading the back of the can, so it is indeed zero grams of sugar, which is good. So the things with these knockos is they've got those, uh, BCA, the BCA is those branched chain amino acids and a lot of the time they make the drinks or make energy drinks in general taste pretty nasty and not great so I'm hoping this one isn't going to be that nasty in essence so as I said caffeine content is on the, on the way higher side actually of 50, uh, 55 milligrams per 100 mil so that's certainly certainly a lot higher than what the average is and the average is being 32 milligrams per 100 mil but apart from that yeah there's nothing else of interest on the can so in my head i'm going to be comparing this to rhine's or rain if you want to say it rain rhine uh lemon hdz because that's kind of got extra you know these vitamins and stuff but that's actually quite a nice flavor so we're just going to see how this one uh plays out anyways the drink's nice and cold got my zesty lime studios cup it's nevertheless Let's open it and hopefully it doesn't explode over me. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be either clear or white, not yellow. People always make that mistake with lemon, it's uh, either clear or white. I mean, it could be yellow, but the one time I don't say it, it will be yellow. There we go, no explosions. Right. And the colour is... Surprise, surprise, it's white. There we go, pour that into there. So it does seem to be more on the lightly fizzy side, which is what I personally prefer as well. I don't like when drinks are super, super fizzy, like Coke or Pepsi or something like that. But yeah, the color's white, as you can see, it's cloudy and it's non see through, as you cannot see my face through the drink. Yeah, just white color. So, let's give it a closer smell now and see what it smells like. It does smell of lemons, however it smells more like some sort of lemon dessert kind of smell. But like, almost like a sherbet lemon, so like, a, I mean, I say, I say dessert, but I mean like kind of lemon sherbet sweets which not really is a dessert in itself, but you know, people do eat sweets for dessert, so you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it smells like lemon sherbet. Hmm, that's one quite nice. Well, hopefully it tastes nice. Nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Ooh, I was not expecting that. Ooh, yeah, I was not expecting that whatsoever. That is, that's completely different to what I was expecting it to be. Wow, that is different. Mm. 
Hmm, okay. So, the fizz is definitely on the lighter side. I'll start with that, that's fine. There does seem to be no, there seems to be no metallic tastes and no harsh chemical tastes as such, which is fine. However, the lemon flavor is really, I don't know if you use the word odd or different because I don't think I've had an energy drink that's tasted like a lemon like this before. A lemon has been around for quite a while in the energy drink markets, like pure lemon drinks. Some of them taste like toilet cleaner, some of them are super, super nice. Um, you know, long gone are the days of Relentless's lemon ice. That stuff was incredible. That's going over a decade ago now. But um, the thing is with this, what I'm feeling is, is that it's, it feels like it's a league in its own with its lemon flavor. It feels like more of a, say, lemon juice style flavor rather than say like actual, fizzy fizzy lemon so again we compare this to our uh, Ryan's uh, lemon HDZ or you know now I'm trying to think of another lemon drink but if it's not even Monster's new recently launched Aussie lemonade for example um this is completely different to both of them the thing is with this again if you strip off the packaging you wouldn't know it's an energy drink and I don't like it when it's like that because then you don't feel like you're getting that hit you don't you don't feel like you're getting it just doesn't feel like a drinking energy drink. So strip away the packaging, give it to someone, they would know it's an energy drink. <laughs> you know, not great. It's, it definitely is lightly carbonated, just lightly carbonated. I think it could have been a bit more fizzier in my opinion. That's really, really lightly carbonated. Um, so yeah, I mean the fizz is, you know, the fizz is what it is with the fizz, but maybe just a bit more fizz, cause that's just a tad too light. But in all honesty, it's, it's not nice as such. I mean, yeah, okay, it kind of tastes more like lemon, more of like a lemon juice drink itself with a bit of fizz. I mean, ultimately that's what I think it feels like, but it just doesn't have that hard hitting, strong lemon taste like the lemon HDZ, you know, the Aussie lemonade or you know, one of the other lemon energy drink from the big brand. So yeah, it's got tough competition, but really it's, it's just not that nice because it, it I don't know, it just, it's, it said it's not what I was expecting and it feels too more like a lemon fizzy juice drink in itself, which to be honest, like I said, strip away the packaging and that's what you're pretty much gonna get, so. Mm, it's, yeah, I, I don't think I'll drink the rest of this off camera. It's, um, I think the more I kind of drink, the worse it kind of gets really. So I think I will be leaving the rest of that, unfortunately, but there we go. So yeah, not great overall, but certainly different. You know, don't get me wrong, but I just think a lot of these drinks with these BCAAs and all this nonsense, they can taste just a bit weird and a bit odd, unless they get the blend absolutely spot on. So for, uh, yeah, so the question is, how many zesties am I gonna give this out to 10? Well, I think I'm gonna give it three. So three zesties out of 10. I mean, bar me to pick it up and give it a try if you want, you know, if you, if you find it cheaper. In all honesty, stick to lemon HGZ or Aussie lemonade or something like that. But anyways, three zesties out of 10. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all later.